Hello again, everyone. Edwin Learn back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be dissertating and talking about the ruler of the 10th house, posited in the 6th house, and the natal horoscope. Well, as most of you know, the 10th house is connected with um, authority figures, supervisors, uh, the dominant parent, and generally the father, uh, status, notoriety, recognition, career, livelihood. And the sixth house is connected with work, uh, service to others, uh, animals, pets, uh, health-related issues, employment. Well, anyway, people, the uh, first thing is that uh, this person's career might involve uh, working with animals uh, to some degree. It could be uh, a person that finds a health profession, uh, somebody that is in like a healing uh, kind of service or works as a doctor or physician. Uh, this could be a person that finds, uh, finds some kind of uh, work that uh, enables him or her uh, to be healthy. This could be somebody that works as a nutrition or some kind of fitness or a diet um, coach or, or counselor. Uh, this person, um, I guess you could say perhaps they're father or dominant parental figure might strongly impact the work that he or she does. There could be some kind of notoriety or recognition uh, connected with the work this person does. Uh, perhaps their recognition or notoriety they receive or accolades leads to some kind of uh, other work or job that they do. Um, this could be uh, a person where we look at the 10th house and see the 10th house is a standing in the community and perhaps uh, something that uh, connection or maybe the way they're looked upon in the community uh, can impact their work life to some degree if this person is very popular in their community or neighborhood for example this could lead to some connection to some kind of other work and be, can be auspicious for maybe connections in their community toward finding uh, perhaps a better job, uh, for example, or making more money. This could be a person that may work as like uh, a veterinarian or maybe their career position on, on some level could be connected with, um, with animals such as like a zookeeper even uh, even something indirectly with pets or animals say this could be somebody that that works as like an uh, an owner of some property or some apartment community that allows uh, that allows pets in their homes for example and is very pet friendly uh, as an example uh, this could be we look at this as a position where uh, this person might bring their authoritative um, side into the work they do. Employees might see this person as kind of like a fatherly type figure and this person might uh, show that they have a, uh, have a very maybe authoritative way they talk about uh, work life and can have could impart some strong knowledge uh, regarding work um, and employment in general. This could be a position where if this person uh, this person's work life, uh, this person's career choice rather, might impact uh, their health to some degree. If this person has much self-esteem and is happy with his or her career, for example, it could be a person that has really a tremendous uh, health in terms of, of, of their physical, mental health, well-being. Uh, this could be person for if they're somewhat downcast regarding their career choice maybe it could impact the person's mental health or or physical health or it could just simply mean that maybe there's not much um, incentive to maybe do things as far as 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 a healthy lifestyle if the person's job makes them somewhat dejected or something or their career life is, is or maybe if the person's dominated by their career as another example maybe there's not as much time that they could really put into uh, their health aspect of their life such as working out or jogging or cardiovascular things etc so um, people uh, you know this is just something where uh, 
that the career is it could be very tied in, strongly tied into the work they do, even more so uh, than the average uh, person. That whatever career ambitions that this person has will uh, will really be be tied into their strongly to their work life, even though this. This is very, very strongly connected with a lot of people, regardless of whether they have this placement or not. This is even more emphasized with this, uh, with this placement, uh, other than uh, uh, more so than others. And this could be somebody whose career really involves uh, a strong, inordinate amount of work, more so uh, than the average person. And it could be somebody that just works. Uh, very laboriously and especially perhaps toward um, servicing other people and even if this person has a position of authority or is a supervisor or a superior uh, at some in, in some way shape or form this could be a person who still feels the need to uh, put some kind of service or helping others um, into that into their I guess you could say uh, their work life uh, as well even if they are over a lot of people could be the person that's like a supervisor that likes to get quote unquote get in the mix and help uh, subordinate workers out and from time to time uh, so anyway people that will conclude this YouTube astrological segment for the ruler of the 10th house posited in the 6th house in the natal horoscope Stay tuned next time, where I'll be dissertating and talking about the ruler of the 10th house and the 7th house in the natal chart. Two things I want to get with you on before I head out. Firstly, the stars may impel, but do not compel. And secondly, never isolate any single astrological element, aspect, planetary placement, position, configuration, influence, or what have you, and make an analysis on a person, astrologically speaking, based on this alone because a person astrologically is the sum of all their components in their natal chart, and not just one. Until next time, people stay well.